even now, those who analyzed the globe projected that the world economic growth was going to be 4%, mostly from the Asian side, with the Northern Africa contributing better than us in the southern part. It is these projects that are going to address us and help us alleviate that state of affairs. I want to be upfront, and many of you who are gathered here, whether Brooks or Mr. Mklo knows my position. When I relate with issues of the economy, I derive from a principle that says we must get three attributes in one. The first, it should be economic growth. The second, it should be economic distribution. The third, it should be creation of jobs. And I think this needs to be uploaded as it will ensure the economic growth, it will ensure distribution to as many people as possible, but equally, it will create jobs. And therefore, we applaud you. Last week, we had an opportunity to share ideas with more than 100 CEOs of the big companies in Guazulu Natal. And one of the things we emphasized was the question of job creation, was the question of coming with new ideas to grow the economy. The recently conducted study by the Washington think tank, which is called the Brookings Institute. It's titled Employment Creation Potential, Labor Skills Requirement, and Skills Gap for the Youth. It identifies South Africa as one of those that are lagging behind in terms of the creation of jobs. It then identifies critical areas for the country to seize the potential of those areas. And among those is agro-processing, is horticulture, commercial agriculture, it is tourism, it is information and technology, it is transit trade, it is financing and business services, 